What's going on everybody? This is ODC, it's me, and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Thanos Wave. This is Captain America Steven Rogers uh, from the Avengers Age of Ultron line uh, slash Thanos Wave, or Thanos Wave, um, I should say. Um, this is a... I think this is a really good figure, to be honest with you. A lot of people are crapping on this figure, saying, Oh, it's just a shitty re-release. Me. Oh, another Captain America figure. Me. Oh, another movie figure. Me. But this is a solid figure. Um, sure, it's not 100% perfect, but what figure is, I guess. I mean, I guess you can get close to perfection, but... Um, not every figure is going to not, I mean, no figure is going to be a hundred percent absolutely perfect. Um, there's always room for improvement on everything, but, uh, a lot of people are complaining because there are a lot of reused parts on him, but the whole upper torso here is all a re-sculpt. Um, so, I mean, you are getting a new sculpt here, um, the unfortunate part is that you can't put his shield on his back. I wish they would have devised some sort of uh, technology to kind of <laughs> fix that problem. But he does hold his shield nicely. I have a little bit of a defect on mine. This this portion keeps popping off. It, it just needs some glue and it'll stay. But not the not the worst problem in the world. It's just a problem that I wanted to address. Um, it, it's just on my figure, um, but it is there. So. It does pop off a little bit. It's just probably because someone got lazy and didn't feel like doing their job that day and didn't glue it properly. So, stupid toy workers get to work. Sorry, anyway. Um, he does include uh, the Steve Rogers head, which is actually a really nice head sculpt. I actually do like this face. Um, it looks absolutely nothing like Chris Evans, in my opinion. But you can use it for other characters, like if you wanted to use it for, like, a, I don't know, a Quasar, a modern Quasar, you could do that, which I did on my custom from Stevie D Customs. Thank you, Stevie D. You are the man. Um, <laughs> but uh, you could use it for that, or you can use it like a quarter main um, if you wanted to. But um, he does come with uh, two other hands as well. Um, he's got his other fist hand right there, and then he's got uh, his other fist hand right here. He's got his pointer finger on right now, and kind of like a judo chop, judo chop, um, or saluting finger, F fingers, if you want to go that route. Um, he does come with the right leg of Thanos, so there's that. Um, I've already built Thanos, that's why I haven't been showing you the pieces, but we'll get to his review at the very end, because I have a lot to say about that figure. But you can remove his his shield here um, right off his eye. See, I could slide mine off. Sometimes you couldn't slide them, um, slide these off. But um, with mine, for some reason, you can, and it just sticks well. I don't know. It's just very accessible, very easy. Uh, I maybe wonder if it's because of this strap popping off, but oh well. Uh, he can't hold it. Oh, excuse me. Rogue Yawn. Um, he can't hold it nicely, and uh, but as far as his articulation goes, head does swivel side to side. He's got a really good range of motion in his head. It does look up very nicely, very far up, and it does look down nicely. He does have that uh, tilt effect a little bit. There's a little bit of motion there in that. He does got some jive turkeys up in here. Little jive turkeys. Um, um, his arms go about that far. They do go down. They can do a full 360 rotation, um, as, as well as his head can. Sorry, I didn't point that out. Uh, bicep swivel, double joint elbows. He's got the wrist swivel and a wrist hinge, which goes up and down on the side, um, but not on the inside here. So no joint right here. It's on the side going up and down. And mine's frozen for some reason. I don't want to break the peg off, so I'm not going to mess with that. But... Um, the hinge on the fist hand also goes, it does go in and out. Uh, doesn't go up and down that way. Doesn't ratchet that way. Uh, same thing with the karate chop slash salute hand. It does bend that way in and out. So uh, He does have an ab crunch that goes back and it does go forward. He's got a waist swivel 
He's got T-joint hips, which aren't the best in the range of motion department. They only go about that far. Uh, yeah, it could be better, much better, especially Steve being a very agile character. Um, you wouldn't want this, him to be able to do splits a little bit better than this. Uh, but they do go forward. Uh, they go back about that far. He's got an upper thigh swivel, double joint knees. He does have the boot swivel, ankle hinge, which goes forward, and it does go back. And he does have that beautiful, nicely done ankle pivot. And he does have two peg holes at the bottom of the feet. And that's about it. Uh, as far as his size comparisons go, I'm just going to bring in a couple more uh, Captain Americas just to show you a couple. Well, I'll show you a similar and show you the differences between this Steve and the other Steve. But first we'll get into a size comparison here, a true size comparison, which will bring in the three-pack Steven Rogers, which is based on the Shield Agent body, and he's leaning forward a little bit, so I gotta fix his feet. But there you go, as you can see, the Shield Agent is a little bit taller than the movie figure. These movie figures run a little bit shorter um, than the, uh, the comic book versions, their counter counterparts, but I, I, it's not a huge difference. But it is a difference, and I wanted to point that out. So there you go with that. I actually modded his belt, so it's not doesn't have all that crap on it. I just thought it looks looks a lot better like this. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And then as the other comparison, which I'll do is here is the Captain America, the First Avenger, or not the First Avenger, the Winter Soldier. My God, I'm losing it today. The Winter Soldier, Captain America, and as you can see the. If there's no shield, um, shield, uh, bleh, oh my god, for the stealth suit. There's no shield symbol. There's an Avenger symbol on each side. Um, there's also, it doesn't say Captain or, or Rogers right here on the arm, and there's no American flag. And as you can see, there is a big difference in sculpting here as these torsos are different. I believe it might just actually be the upper torso upper portion of the torso before the ab crunch um, not the lower portion I believe that's the same it's just this piece that's that's new um, I think they figured oh well we we're gonna have to we're gonna have to resculpt this portion because it is uh, a little bit a, a big difference between the two um, as you can see they're sculpting right here on this these gray pieces right here the the star is is much smaller on, on this Captain America than this one so there are differences there there's also sculpted belt buckles and painted belt buckles where this one doesn't really have that I guess you can call that a belt buckle up there but it's not painted and they're in different places so um, even down to the um, the um, the paint applications for the face and skin tone are much darker on this guy than this guy. A little bit lighter on him. Uh, I've never been a big, uh, it's never been a big pet peeve of mine changing skin tones throughout because, I mean, no, you gotta understand, like, no, no, no figure's gonna have the exact same paint <laughs> every single time. I get that. So it's not a big pet peeve of mine. Um, the uh, the belt on him does move. It's a little bit stiffer on mine, but they um, they painted in more detail on this. It's the same belt. It's just uh, there's a little bit more detail on this one than this one. Uh, the legs are exactly the same. They're just painted different, and um, the boots are actually a different color. This is all one brown color. This is kind of a grayish, gray and brown. Uh, it looks like the straps are brown and then this is gray. So there's there are differences there and obviously the shield is going to be different. Just bring that in real quick. So there you go with the shield. It's pretty much the same shield just painted differently. So there you go. But um, would I recommend this figure? Yes I would. Um, if you're a Captain America elitist or Captain America or elitist <laughs> Captain America completist Jesus <sighs> then you're going to want this figure. Um, I am a Captain America fan and a C Captain America completist, so I wanted this figure. I don't care how many Captain Americas they come out with, I'm going to get every single one. So <laughs> that's just me. That's what I do. Um, uh, is there any other differences on here? No, I'm looking for the helmet. I mean, obviously the paint's different. The A's a little bit better on this guy than this guy. So 
that's one more thing I want to point out. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I would recommend this figure. I, I think it, the sculpting on him is just very well done. Even the detail. I mean, if you were to get, if you if you have both of these in hand, and you're like, oh, we'll pick one to get. Um, I might go with him. I like, I love, I like this look too. But for some reason, this just screams a little bit more traditional, even though it's still a movie style look for him. I, I just like this blue better. It just looks a little bit better. Um, so there you go. That's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. Definitely. Um, it, don't. I mean, I, I don't know. If you're not a Captain America fan and you don't care, then don't go out of your way to get him. But I still think he's number one. A number one. Yes. So <laughs> definitely. I would recommend this figure. He's a good figure. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.